Hey everyone, welcome back, Eclisp here, and in this Red Dead Redemption tutorial, I want to tell you how to install Lenny's Mod Loader. The reason you want to install Lenny's Mod Loader is because a lot of mods actually require this. I don't exactly know why, but it's also like a little mod manager, you know, it's pretty much what you want to download if you plan on modding Red Dead to a high extent. So the first thing we're going to do is download Lenny's Mod Loader, which is right here. Download this file, click download. And then it's going to start the download. Just click save. Then you go on double click it. And as you can see, we have all these files. We want to go to mod loader and copy all this and then bring it to your Red Dead Redemption 2 root folder. So we're going to paste it here. If you don't know where that is, you can just go to Steam, Red Dead Redemption 2, right click, manage, browse local files, and it'll take you straight to the root folder. This is your directory and uh, this is where you want to place the files at. So here we are on a desktop and we have the mod manager. So we want to drag the mod manager out to our desktop because we want this to be somewhere where we don't delete it because this is where everything happens. Um, so right now you can just delete your LML. As long as you have your mod manager folder, then that's fine. So double click it and double click the mod manager UI.exe. This is how you start at the mod manager. Um, you can customize the light, uh, the themes or whatever and uh, as you can see on the top, it says, please select a valid game folder. So we're going to double click the three dots. And again, we're going to navigate to our Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. We're going to click select folder. So we're going to click save. And as you can see, welcome to Menny's Mode Loader. And it gives you all the info for it. And all your downloads are all right here. So the easiest way to download LML mods is to use mods from rdr2mods.com. I'm not a fan of this. I typically like using the Nexus mod website because this is where it's my home when it comes to mods, Fallout mods, everything is just there. Um, so just click on a mod from here though, and um, as you can see, there will be some of the mods will say download with LML. Some of them will say that they're unsupported, but you can still try to download them, but not every mod will work. If, if it says download with LML, it's fine. Um, now, actually, I cannot download mods with LML. So if I click download, as you can see, it's not gonna download this and that is because my browser blocks ads now let's say you have a browser like brave or whatever that blocks ads just like i do this is how you download mods with lml the different way so here i am on the nexus um you can also do this with the lml rdr2 things but i'm going to be using the nexus just because again i love the nexus so one of the mods that i know that require lml is john marston and his rdr animations so here's the mod, and um, it should tell you if it requires LML, um, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to click manual download. We're going to click manual download again, and as you can see, it requires Lenny's Mod Loader. We're not going to have to worry about that now that we already downloaded it. And we're going to save it like a normal mod. Here it is in our downloads, we're going to double click, and um, as you can see, the mod right here, we're going to drag out to our downloads. We're going to open LML. We're going to click this little download icon. We're going to click add downloaded file, click downloads, and then um, click uh, this file, the file of the mod, click select folder. And as you can see, it's going to say that it's an external download and it's just going to install automatically. This is how you view your library. This is how you view your downloads. But now we need to load the game. So typically the game should pop up right here, but for me personally, it, it doesn't for some reason. So I'm just going to load the game regularly with Red Dead Redemption 2. So here we are in the game, and as you can see, um, the mod does actually work. And since this is an animation mod, um, you have to actually look at the animation, but you can see when I hold out a weapon, it's the actual animation. I think the running animation is different. The walking is definitely a different part of the mod. And that's how you install and use Lenny's Mod Loader. Hope this helped you. Um, and I hope a lot of people start modding Red Dead Redemption 2 and start maybe getting into creating mods for Red Dead Redemption 2 because this game has a lot of potential and and um goodbye everyone